Well, 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 that sucked. <laughs> Let's try this again. Goodness. Ah, welcome, guys. Welcome, guys, to Song of Hurrah. Doing the whole intro and all that again because YouTube, welcome, and Twitch deleted the previous attempt at the stream until my internet decided to shit itself completely and had to restart the hub router and all that wait an age for it to come right but here we go hopefully we can actually get further than the intro this time round so twitch yes i apologize if you're back here watching with me we're gonna be doing that over the little apartment scene but it's just so the episode is smooth if anyone wants to watch this post stream Hopefully, things behave this time. We're only about five minutes in, guys, so don't worry. We haven't seen much, so there will be no spoilers. Apart from this creepy box. That is not good. That is not good. Okay, well, let's see. We had four viewers. Hopefully everybody uh, comes back and joins us. September 25th, Boy, Daniel. Home sweet home. I should I say me more than if you turn the great outdoors? By the way, guys, if you are not listening with headphones, get them on. Get them on. good memories let's see if we can just random yeah moving his head oh we didn't go in here last time the lounge into jazz baby Uh, X-Files. That was scary. In the 90s, late 90s, man. X-Files? X-Files, oh boy. Scary stuff, man. Way, Daniel. Very uh, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 originals feel with the movement. Obviously didn't, bud. Leftover coffee. Oh, he's drug of choice. Interesting. Done all that. On a Friday evening, that's uh, worrying. What are you into, Daniel? 
You say that, but it doesn't look squeaky clean the dishes, my dude. Neither is the fridge. You could do with a bit of bleach, yeah? Should get some groceries. They're useful for living, you know? By the way, guys, I forgot to mention when we started. Song of Horror, if you're an Amazon Prime member, so that's probably most of the world. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, you're a Prime member. You sign up to Prime Gaming, which is free if you're a Prime member. Or if you happen to be subscribed to Twitch, go to Prime Gaming, log in with your Amazon Prime login or Amazon login. And you'll be able to get this game and a few others right now free on the Prime Gaming app, if you're interested. Plus, I think it's every month, every two months, something like that. You get a free game and a bunch of in-game content, and that's available. Check it out. You might find something you like. We're trying this out. Don't know if I'll finish it, per se. Not really this survival horror game player. It's not really my thing when you can't defend yourself and attack. I'm a very, uh, very, what would you call it? Aggressive style player, game player. So if there's no way to attack, it's not normally my thing. Not normally my thing at all. So... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I enjoy it, this music is uh, BGM is very calming, and that's worrying. That all we can't see any more of the of the bathroom. Okay. To the office. Interesting how it goes. Oh crikey! Seriously. No. We're looking at shit. Apartment's too small. This is our author dude, uh, I think for the for the firm who we work for, I believe. Oh man, I can't go in the bedroom well, now. I guess I should answer that. Oh well. From last time. We didn't go into the living room, we went into the bedroom last time, guys. There's nothing Hello. important there. Daniel. Nothing important. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself. But I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks! I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find it. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Though I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. 
Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake publishes employee by day, Wake publishes screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Hersha, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. A uh, music box. Don't like the sound of that, guys. Can tell you that right now. The way I didn't mention it earlier, we are playing on who level two, if you will, of three levels of difficulty. Now three being the hardest um, available right now, anyway, until you complete the game on level three. Then it unlocks level four. Now, one lower than this, um, disables permadeath. I say that you can reload back to a checkpoint before, or the last checkpoint before your character died. Now, right now, we don't have that option. If somebody dies, they die. So, by reading that, I know there's multiple characters. So, uh, let's... Uh, Let's hope we don't kill anyone, shall we? Just looking at our options, dog. Oh, need to get used to this. I don't have a controller we can play this with because my PS4 controller does not seem to work. Although, saying that, I haven't tried it with the Amazon app, so... Maybe I should have before. That old door just opened a little bit for us. Bloody torch art. Light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press F. A direction. To allow you to illuminate. Apologies. Apologies. It is 1 a.m. Won't go for too long, guys. Just so you know. To allow you to illuminate specific areas. And also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Light source will never run out. Use as much as you need. That's an interesting mechanic seen as you can die forever. So it's just like, hey, guess what? You can die forever, but um, your light source won't run out. So there you go. You, you'll be illuminated in death. Thank you. Thank you for that. Is that someone playing a music box? Hmm. Arm seems disabled. Much better if it goes off. A lot of explaining to do. Can we not close the freaking door?
Uh, I'm spooked already. Glock Mox 12. God damn. What I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Ah. Oh. I love clothes. Stay anyone home. First door. Here's a toilet room. You can say bathroom, I guess. Oh, bloody mirror. Yeah, I don't think Sophie's in just the dark. I think she's getting stuck by someone else. Maybe we should have selected the difficulty that our people survive if we fuck up. Anyway, hopefully we don't kill anyone. Don't make me sad. No, no entry. Well, the bathroom wasn't where the music was coming from. Why could we go in there? Yeah, interesting. Paintings. A lot of suitcases. Dodgy. Sounds like it's coming through this door through there. Yeah, like drumming. Plus, it has like Silent Hill vibes, you know what I'm saying? It's like this. No, the music isn't coming from upstairs. Yeah, you're not going to say anything about the open window, dog.
Oh shit. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all patiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask you a favor. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the last, oh, last, one of the latest items we have purchased at the store. An ornament music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say ear. The melody. Sebastian. It's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I had never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score, or the name of the composer, have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. This letter from Isaac Farber, Faber, Farber, maybe it's got an interesting pronunciation, I'm sure. Hmm, letter from Hasha Farber Daniel. In the author's mansion, post stamped 1st of August. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With the warmest wishes, Isaac Farber. Yes, I've also enclosed the letter information. Yeah, sorry. Yes, I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about said box. Letter address to Sebastian P. Usher, 25 Abbott Thomas Road, 4. Freaky. Interesting. Telling me, my man. The f Fuck is in the back there, is that a, there be a door there? I'm more worried about what Don't like that sound. Put some jazz on. Nice. Japanese. Can I just, please, can we get, like, one of those rifles? Or the sword. Let's just take the sword. The sword can deal with most stuff. Get away with the scary strings. Oh, god damn. Oh, well, here we go. Jesus, that's loud. Pull down the sound there. God damn, that was loud, man. I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. 
The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days, and I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so, and if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. Oh great, now we're going in the evening. Going with the lady in the evening to the freaky house with the short skirt. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Sophie Van Dennett? Dennett? Something like that. She's 40. Doesn't look 40. It looks pretty good. Candle light source. Love, it's 1998. Get a bloody torch like Daniel. Don't be using a fucking candle. Jeez. Okay, live has put... Oh, live. Live. <laughs> life has put Sophie... Ooh, voice crack. Beautiful. Life has put Sophie to the test many times. But she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Oh, it's Sophie. Daniel Sophie. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is uh, is now enjoying the... Ugh, I can't read now. This, you see, it's, it's a bit late. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity she has always longed for. Ever-elusive prosper prosperity. Speed, she's quick girl. Stealth. Quiet strength, four, interesting. Serenity, nice and high. Calm, minded. Scented candles. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Sophie. Oh crap, we've got people we can pick from. Okay. Etienne Bertrand, I believe. He's lighter. Okay. Etienne, a competent, self made man. His sales manager at the Wake Publishing. 
for Atwake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errant boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities, obviously knowing Daniel's uh, past must do. Uh, although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Decently fast, not that stealthy, strong boy, Serenity is chilled. Writing down anything important is the secret to remembering. That is the truth, dog, right there. Alexander Loskin, who's on a train, as we see here. Light source candle, 59. Excuse me, guys. There's going to be a few yawns. It is quite late, like I said. 1.27 a.m. Perfect time to be playing a horror. Alexander and his wife, Marsha. Our housekeepers at, uh, at writer Sebastian Page. Usher's mansion. Watching over the author's children is one of their many household duties. The Russian couple, of course, of Christian faith moved to Europe in the early 80s in an attempt to flee from a mysterious past that Alexander rarely, if ever, speaks about. Well, of course, he's Russian. They made him the strongest thing there is. No serenity. <laughs> Stealthy and speedy. Probably ex-soldier or something. In the 80s, so probably left after the... Um, Soviets. Probably was a Soviet soldier. That's why he's got strength. Take a good swig from the flask to soothe your nerves when danger looks. Always work for me. Alina Ramos. Flashlight. 32. A passionate hands down type of learner always eager to get her hands dirty at work happy and energetic she traveled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both now working as an electrical technician at uh, monolith security alenina is part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems for exclusive Clients, meaning she will know what is happening with the alarm system in the writer's house. Fast, stealthy, decent strength. Not much serenity though, walkie. It doesn't work very well. It picks up a lot of weird interference. That might be useful if something funky is around. I don't want to use Sophie though. I don't want to use Sophie. We have one, two, four characters. Four characters. These are obviously the guys that can die. Obviously, she's going to go look for Daniel. He's going to go look for Daniel and Husher. He is probably going to go to work or look for his wife or something. And she is probably going to end up going there because the security company has called her to do something to check the system. Um, I don't like the candle vibe. That freaks me out. But that's probably why we should do it. So let's start with uh, Daniel's love. Ex-love. Not sure where you'd put it, but not that strong, but uh, Let's go with Sophie. The only house property of Sebastian Husher. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The 
September 28th. Yes, three days later. stockings red like a dress listen this is a scary game don't be doing weird shit now lady scare the crap out of me god damn it down is where I want you to go. was open. Is there anybody home? That is scary. A dark hallway? God damn. Those low bass notes are scaring the shit out of me. God, we can go into that room now. Oh, the curtain is moved more, bro. That was closed last time. How is it? There's no one. No one's been here, man. Holy shit, they are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Look, you can see some of them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't, I don't like horrors, I do, but give me a gun rather, man. There are doors fucking everywhere. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's suitcases everywhere, correct. Yeah, turn around, that's what I wanted.
She just likes everything, thinks everything's pretty. I'm, I'm down with that. Users, okay. Screwed shut. So we need a screwdriver to open the box. Of course, the flathead is not. Boiler functions, upper panel, shut down, press the left button. Start, press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunctioning, of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Mm -mm. Electricity in the house. Welcome guys, I see a few people have jumped in. Thank you for stopping by. We're just started and we're shitting ourselves already. Just taking it nice and slow. If you know anything about it or don't. How do Daniel has gone missing? This is his ex-wife. We're in a spooky writer's house with no electricity and a little candle. Yeah, looking for him. Beautiful. And I'm rechecking all these things because some things have changed from when we were here with Daniel three days ago. Freaky as fuck. Okay, my dear. Centric husband. I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back. And I don't want them playing with it. The dusty note. Playing with it. She obviously means that freaky ass music box that we still haven't seen. Huh. Gun design is beautiful, but scaring the crap out of me. Uh -huh. Yeah, the suitcase is everywhere. What is going on? I guess we uh, head towards where Daniel was. I don't really want to. Let's go upstairs. Although we couldn't go upstairs earlier with Daniel. Let's go upstairs. I should take a look on this floor first. Okay, so do we go? Uh, okay, let's just let's just go in here. Let's just go in here. We've never stopped by before. I am Fluffal or Ryan. How are you doing? 
matchbox. Hope you're well. Hope your week's been okay and welcome to the weekend. Four, six, nine matches, I think. Yeah, I know there are plenty of matches left. God. We didn't try going in here. We didn't try going in here with Daniel. There's something on the counter. Got myself just a little bit there from that static. Why did she come so late at night? 10 past 12? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, because it's the Russian... the door oh the sound direction just changed and doors everywhere don't like all the doors everywhere no way That's enough for me right there. There's enough for me right there. God damn. Okay, YouTube. We're gonna end this episode here with the beautiful drawing from Saul. Saul 7. Or is it Saw 7? I don't know. We'll catch you in the next one, YouTube. See you later.